Oh, this is gonna be the most evil aquarium ever! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the TFC Toys Big Bite! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right off front, you can see very g one packaging there, and you have a nice uh, piece of artwork of the robot mode and the alt mode. His name is Big Bite, robot monster weapon uncombined. On this side of the box, you have the robot mode. On this side of the box, you have the monster mode. It's the monster mash. And on the top of the box here, you have a run-through of all of his modes. On the bottom, you just have warning. Please don't eat anything in this box. I'll be right back for you. And on the back of the box, you have a nice rendition of the combined form of Poseidon. And you also get deck specs for Big Bite himself right there. And that's basically it for the packaging. And included in the packaging is the obligatory third-party collector's card with that same piece of artwork and tech specs. Hooray for cards. So, oh yeah, that's so moving right along. Here we have Big Bite, and this is the first component of TFC Toys Poseidon. They're not Piranacon. That's right, they're tackling the Seacons. The Seacons are finally getting some love, and I'm happy about this. And uh, yeah, this is their take on Scalor. And um, as you can see, he is a big fish creature monster thing. Yeah, that, that, that sure is a thing, <laughs> but there you go. So we're getting close here, so you can see the details. Lots of nice molded detail throughout this figure. Very nice. That is some uh, transclearance yellow plastic there for the eyes. Lots of transclearant plastic on this figure. These front teeth right here are also the transclearant plastic, as well as these right here. The eyes transclearant plastic. So claws right here. Or that transclearance plastic, as well as the top fin, that right there. Little claws right there, and also the tip of the tail. Or that transclearance plastic, and again, lots of nice molded detail throughout. And looks very, very good. Looks nice. Underside, very clean. You can't really make out much robots. I mean, these are obviously going to be the robot mode arms, but they don't look like robot mode arms. They just look like little monster legs, so... Everything does a good job of being concealed, and um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, now, articulation-wise, uh, you can open and close his mouth. Uh, these front teeth, these front set of teeth, you can angle however you wish. You're on a hinge there, so you can have them jutting out. You can kind of line them up with the other teeth if you want. Totally up to you. His little front arms here are on a ball joint. They have a little bit of outward movement. can do a full 360. Um, they do have an inward elbow bend, so you can scratch his belly if he wants. Why not? And his claws can move in. And that's more for transformation than anything. And the hind legs are in a ratchet joint. So you can do a full 360. They can't move outward. Well, they can if you undo the transformation joint. You can have them swing outward like that. Um, you have a swivel. And you have a, oops, have a double jointed knee right there. And his toes can move down and up a little bit. And the tail um, is on multiple ball joints. You have a ball joint here, ball joint there, ball joint there. And the tip can swivel right there. So uh, there you have that. And for a quick comparison, here he is with Voyager Optimus Prime from Combiner Wars. Just so you can see around about how big this dude is in his monster mode. Right there, and here he is with G1 Scaler, and here's Josh Pusher's Freaky Fish Pusher's, there you go. So you have that. Now accessory wise, um, he does include two swords, you have some silver paint in there, so you get two of those, nicely done. You do get the combined mode hand, it's nice molding right there and we'll get into articulation for everything once we get this guy all combined i'm not going to dwell too much on it um you get some connector pieces for combined mode we'll get into this a little bit later um the handle 
for weapon mode. And that's another thing we'll get to later. And he comes with two guns right here, which are cast in that blue, with some silver right there. And you can use them as small pistols, or you can open them up and flip out these larger barrels and have a big old cannons right there. And you can store these on the monster mode. You got two, uh, two ports right back here. You can take them and plug them in like that. There, like that. There you go. Have them all armed up. Why not? A fish with guns. Big old monster fish with guns. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Dare I say it? Why not? So there you go. So, <coughs> excuse me. Got me all choked up there. Sorry about that. Just something about a fish with guns on its back just made my throat just seize up. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's just continue on. So yeah, um, these guys are just like the G1 toys. Um, they can totally scramble city, and they have the weapon mode, so you can turn him into a gun, a leg, and an arm. And we're going to go through all of those modes. So we're going to start off with the weapon mode. So to do that, you want to take this top fin right here, you want to untab it, and you want to split it down the middle. Right here. Split it, split it, split it, right there. And then you just want to take this armature here and rotate it 180 so it sits like that. And then rotate that. And then you just bring these down and these tabs will sit in those ports. It doesn't, it's not a dead solid connection, it's just a place for them to rest. So I just bring that one down and oops, sometimes you'll pop them off, they're just on ball joints. And then you just pop that in, right there. And then you're going to take this whole top section of the head, and you're going to bring it up like that. You're going to take the bottom jaw here, and it's on a double hinge. You're just going to take it and bring it down and back like that. And now he looks all... <laughs> He's like, burr, burr. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Anyway, just bring that up. <laughs> At this point now, you just want to split all of this. Get that open. And you want to bring this piece in right here. So you want it oriented like this right now. And you're just going to take that and just plug it in between these two panels. And then squeeze it all back together. And once you do that, you just take the section and bring it down, like that. And now you can take the head and just bring it the rest of the way back. You want to bring it all the way back, like that. Bring those teeth down. And there you go. Now you want to take his front arms here. You want to unpeg them from that port and then rotate them forward and peg them into this port right there. You want to flip in his little claws. Just bring those arms forward, like that. Second verse, same the first. Just bring that forward. Flip those claws in. There you go. Now for the legs, you bring them up. The instructions just have you leaving the legs like that, but me personally, I like to bring them up. And there's a post right here that goes into this port right here. And that's meant for leg mode, but I use it for the gun mode too, because I think it just looks better that way. And then bring that little claw down. And I don't know. That works better for me, but you know, like I always say, your toy, do whatever you want with it. Display it however you wish. The world is your oyster. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. There you go. <laughs> so there you have that. So now we're going to take the tail, untab it. We're going to take this front section here and bring that up on a double hinge. Flip this panel in. And it also helps if you bring this back, this assembly back. And now you're going to use this, because you're going to use this for leverage, because this joint right here is super, super tight. So you just want to take this and feed it in, and just start bringing ah, that ratchet down. And then you have to remove it, because now you have to swing this up, and this will sit up here like that. And then you just take this and use it to leverage that joint ah, the rest of the way down. Very, very tight joint. <laughs> there you go. You can close this back up. Bring that there, and the tail will just tab into that piece right there. Now at this point now, you can slide this. You can see there are two notches and uh, tabs on either side. So you just take that and just slot that in right there. 
push it in and you want to make sure that this tab is on the, uh, the back side of the handle there. And we're almost done with the gun mode. And last but not least, we take our two guns here. You can flip these little handles in. And they will tab together like that. And then this central peg will go into that port right there. So I need to take it. Push that in. And then you can just kind of bring in the little uh, bring the little arms in like that. And there you go. There you have the gun mode for a big bite or a scaler. <laughs> it's just a big a big double-barreled fish gun. Yeah! Sure! I love it. <laughs> and since we do have the combined mode hand, we can show off how this fits in here. So basically, this big uh, tab right here is one on either side, and it just plugs into the big slot right there in the palm. And you just plug it in, wrap the fingers around it, and voila, there he is holding the gun. You can see how big the gun is compared to his hand. It's actually It makes for a massive gun. So... There you have that. Like a release, release. There you go. So there you have the gun mode, and here he is with G1 Scalor in his gun mode. You can see how they look there. <laughs> pressure, fish gun pressure. Now the combined mode foot is going to double as a stand for the weapons, but the uh, the foot obviously isn't included with this figure. It's going to be included with the next one, so I can show it off there. But yeah, um, the gun modes will have you know you can use the uh, the foot for the stand. But yeah, there you go, fish guns, hooray! <laughs> so there you have the fish gun. So we'll move on to leg mode now. So we'll just pop these off because we ain't going to need them no more. Put that off to the side. And now what are we going to do? Now we're going to take these arms right here and we're just going to swing them up. Oops, actually, you're going to leave them pegged in and just swing up the arm. There we go. Just swing the arm up. And swing the arm up. And you're basically pretty much leaving them just like this. The only other transformation we have to do is just to this rear section here. So we're just going to unpeg the tail and then just start bringing this back up. There we go. Remove that. And this we can muscle up. Oh, it's very, very tight. This thing is so, so tight. <laughs> it's crazy. And for some reason, getting this last click. There we go. It is very, very stiff. Wow. There we go. So you want to take this panel and bring it back down here so that port is exposed. And then we're just taking the tail and just leaving it hanging right there and you can leave you know I could turn the tail sideways if you want totally up to you me personally I like to leave it straight like that but again totally up to you how you want to display it and the combined mode foot will just plug in right there but there he is in his leg mode that's it there you go or shin mode really so yeah not much to it <laughs> just just you know wrapped up in a little ball there just wrapped up in a nice neat little package there you go. This is leg mode. So there you have that. So now we're going to move on to arm mode. And there's a bit more going on with arm mode. So you want to take this panel and bring this back up. Um, you are supposed to bring this uh, combiner port back down. I'm not going to waste the time muscling this down. Just know that you have to bring this back down for arm mode. So bring that back up. Tab the tail back in right there. You want to take the legs here and unpeg them and bring them up on this armature. And we'll just bring those up and get them out of the way for now. And then you want to take these pieces here and you want to just kind of bring them up just to get them out of the way. Oops. This one loves to come undone there. There we go. Sucks to pop off of that ball joint. There we go. Just to get that out of the way. So once we've done that... We're then going to just start splitting all of this. You want to take this section right here and bring this up. And then just split all this right there. And remove this. Come on. Come on. There we go. Remove that. Put that off to the side. Like that. And you do want to bring the head up just a little bit because that frees up this hinge right here because we just want to take these panels right here and bring them out to the side 
like that. Untab these two panels, bring those out to the side. There you go. And then you want to untab these panels right here. You can see where they tab in. And now you want to take all this and just bring it down on these ratchets. And now these panels, you can see the tab right there. I mean, the, uh, the slot right there, rather. These will tab over these tabs right there. So tab that in there. Tab that in there. Like that. And now you want to bring in the combined mode hand. You want to take this bit right here, swing that all the way down, and that's how you want all that configured. Like that, you want to palm down with this down like that. And then you're just going to plug that right in, in between these two halves. Actually, before you do that, one thing I always forget to do, you want to make sure that these teeth are down all the way. There you go. Because if not, it makes things very difficult later if you get everything plugged in afterwards and those teeth aren't down. So plug all that back together like that. And then you want to take these teeth, fold them in, and take this whole lower jaw section and just swing that in like that. Flip that in, swing it in. And oops. This game undone. How dare you? How dare you? And then you uh, just close all this back up. Close this back up. Make sure these panels are everything's correct here. Just close it back up. Close that back up. Make sure everything's nice and closed back up. Just bring that head the rest of the way down. Which which is preventing it. Oh, the teeth are getting caught. There we go. Oops. Be careful there, those two, those two, uh, those two front teeth actually got caught on this little ridge right here. Yeah, just be, be careful with the teeth. You just have to be careful with those teeth. And the teeth are kind of pointy. They can poke you a bit, so definitely be careful with the teeth. <laughs> so, got that. And then you want to take this piece right here and you want to swing it in. And that just locks everything in place right there. And then for the arms, let me raise this up just a hair. There we go. And then for the arms up here, you just want to bring them up. You want to rotate up the bicep swivel. And you want to fold up the arm so this tab goes into this slot right there. So then you just tab that in. Tab it in. Right there. Second first thing is the first. Bring that up. Rotate. Tab it in. Tab it in. There we go. There you have that. And now we can take these bits right here and just plug them back in the way they were. There we go. Tab that in. Just plug that in there. Again, it's not a solid connection. It just rests in there. And then your elbow joints right here, you just kind of bring that up and you rotate this around. Rotate the hand so you have everything oriented properly. And there you have your arm mode right there. And you got a nice ratcheting elbow joint and a bicep swivel and all that good stuff. And lots of finger articulation. And yeah, so there you go. Arm mode. Hey, arm mode. I'm not comparing the, uh, I'm not doing comparisons with the G1 for the uh, combined modes because I'm just trying to trying to save some time here. So, because <laughs> there's a lot to go through. So, there you have the arm mode for Scalor or Big Bite. So now, that came undone. How dare you? How dare you? There you go. There's arm mode. So now, last but not least, we're going into robot mode. So, uh, you want to make sure you rotate the hand so the palm is facing down. That way you can take this piece and swing it back around. And then you can just open all this back up. Pop the hand back out. Pop it. Not going to need that anymore. And now we can, again, take the head and just raise it up slightly so we can free up this hinge. Open all this up. Open all this up. These two panels tab in quite securely. Come on. There we go. Open that up. Untab those panels right there. And then you just take the legs and extend them downward. Make sure these teeth are all the way up. And extend them down. Like that. 
I can just bring the foot up and all this right here you're just going to swing that in and this will tab in right there so right there lock it in place and then this panel you bring up like that and then this panel you just want to swing underneath like that and this tab will go into this slot right there just swing down underneath you can see there's even the space there for the little ball socket and there you have that and then we can just push that back in all the way and there you have a leg all done second verse as you i'm sure can guess same as the first that's right so bring that up swing all that in bring that up and just swing that panel underneath the other panel tab that in right there and there you got your legs all done so now you want to rotate this assembly you want to make sure that elbow joint is on the back of the figure right there so there we have that so now oh, i just need to raise things up just a little bit more so you can see what i'm doing now we're just going to untap the arm swing it around open that up slip out the fist close there we go Untab, rotate, open, flip out, close, done. And there we go. Then you come back here, you just take the tail, untab that, just take this panel here, bring that back down, make sure you bring this back out. Bring that down, bring that back down. And then you just open this up, flip out the head, close it back up, and that just rests against the back. And again, just kind of get these back where they're supposed to go. Like that. And then you, <laughs> you can have them kind of look like Stretch Armstrong. Or you can just take the upper torso here and just whoop, collapse it down. And there you have Big Bite, a.k.a. Scalor, in his robot mode. And looks very very cool. I really love the design of this guy. I think TFC Toys did a great job with this figure. It looks really, really cool. So cool. It's getting close here. So you can see the head sculpt. Um, very nice yellow light piping there. And he just has to sneer, <laughs> which I do like. It's kind of... But very nice head sculpt. And overall, very, very nice design. Just very cool. Very well done, in my opinion. Now you do have some little transclearant teeth going on there in the chest. And yeah, overall, just a very cool design. Oh, I forgot to push this back down. There we go. But yeah, overall, very, very cool design. And I like how all this kind of fills in the gaps in the legs there. Very nicely done. Very cool. You know, he has a bit of a backpack. It's just a tail there, but he has these kind of cool spiky fins sticking out there. Just very cool. Very, very well done, in my opinion. Um, Articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you can get some good wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly movements. Uh, the arms are on that nice ratchet. You can do a full 360. Can go in and out. A little squeaky there, but you get good range of movement. You can use a transformation joint also if you want to. Uh, you do have a bicep swivel. You have a double jointed elbow. So you have a nice full range of movement there. You have a wrist swivel. You got a waist swivel. Legs can go forward that much. Backward that much. You hear it's a very soft ratchet there. You hear those clickety clickities. Right there. You got a thigh swivel. Uh, 90 degrees of bend at the knee on a nice ratchet. And the front of the foot here is on a ball joint. So we can move it up, move it down. Get some eh, pretty good tilt. Pretty good ankle tilt out of it. You can also tilt these panels a bit to uh, adjust his stature. Or stance, rather. And there you go. Now, of course, he can hold his weapons. We're going to split these. And if you want him holding the big cannons... Push this out from the inside. So if you're only holding the big cannons, you can hold the big cannons, or if you rather have the uh, the smaller pistols, 
you can do that as well. Again, it's totally up to you. You got options. And of course, you can have him holding both of his swords. I'll just give him one right here. There we go. Got him all nice and armed up, and I'm dropping pieces off the table. Where did that go? Where did that go? Uh, found it. I found it. Okay, there it goes. Just rolled under the table there. <laughs> Sorry about that, but there you go. <laughs> now I haven't found any way to actually store the weapons in in uh, in robot mode. It's, I don't think there's any place to really store anything because there's nothing. There's there's I don't know. I don't I don't think there is. I don't. I just don't think there is. We're just going to assume there isn't, even though there probably is, and I totally missed it. But there we go. So there you have that now for comparison. Here he is with Combiner Wars Voyager Prime. As you can see how he scales there. You can see he's about a head shorter than Voyager Prime. Uh, here he is with one of TFC's Leo Kaiser dudes. member of their Hades Combiner. So you can see how he scales there. You can see a bit shorter. Then one of their Hades members. And here he is with G1 Scalar because it's pressure. So he has some big Popeye forearms, but he's still pressure. There you go. So, ah, you drop, you drop his gun. You don't drop your weapon, soldier, anyway. So, there you go. There you have Big Bite, a.k.a. Scalar, and a very, very cool figure. I really like the way this turned out. Um, just like I said with uh, TFC's Leo Kaiser figures, I feel like TFC Toys has, have really been stepping up their game with their releases. I mean, it just seems like, you know, they've just, they've kicked things up a notch, a couple of notches with their designs, and um, yeah, this, this guy looks really, really good, and I'm definitely looking forward to the rest of the team, and uh, seeing how this whole set turns out, um, very cool, very, very cool, I am quite digging it, so, there you go, so if you would like a Big Biter, any of TFC's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability, there will be a link in the description down below, so check that out, you can also check out the Poseidon playlist for any future reviews, that will also be linked in the description below, so check that out as well, and I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games. check out Lori Plan. follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the TFC Toys Big Bite, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing, be a geek, be a proud, boom in your face! <laughs>